Welcome to DashboardSymbols.com. Here, we will demonstrate opening and starting push button or keyless start Ford SUVs with a dead key fob battery. Vehicles include the Bronco, EcoSport, Edge, Escape, Expedition, Explorer, Flex, and the Mustang Mach E. There are several possible backup start procedures and four key fobs to cover. Unless you have a Mach E, the first step is to retrieve a mechanical key hiding in the fob. The Mach E is all electronic and you'll need to use the smartphone app or the keypad on the doorpost to get inside. The mechanical key is well hidden in this first fob, which is a little difficult to work with. The key is between the two halves of the fob. You'll need to get a fingernail onto the slide lever you see here. Slide it down while using the same fingernail to pull the cover away. You'll likely slip once in a while. Once open, note that the tip of the mechanical key is tucked under a protrusion on the remaining half of the fob. Pull it away from the other end. We've never seen this fob, but if it's yours, squeeze the two black buttons found on the tapered end to release the cover on the back. Remove the mechanical key that you see inside. With this style key fob, look for a mechanical latch at the top of the back as shown. Note also this separation no more than a half inch from the top of the fob. While you slide the latch to the side, you'll need to get a fingernail into the separation to work the key loose, after which it can be pulled away. This key fob was introduced in 2017 and is the simplest to use. It has a push button on the front of the mechanical key itself near the key ring space. Simply push the button and pull the mechanical key away. If a keyhole is visible at the back of the driver's door, insert the key and turn and you'll be inside. In the Expedition, the keyhole is not visible but easily exposed by pulling the driver's door handle. It's seen here angled outward. Insert the mechanical key and turn clockwise. Remove the key and release the handle. The door will open on the next pull. In the edge, the keyhole is hidden by a cap at the rear of the driver's door handle. To remove the cap, look for the slot on the bottom of the cover as shown. Insert the key blade into the slot and press up. The cap is now free to move. While maintaining upward pressure, work the cover rearward a bit. It can then be pulled away. And yes, the effect is that of prying off a piece of your car, but it's okay and needs to be done. Once the lock cylinder or keyhole is exposed, insert the key and turn, and you're in. Note now that the alarm may sound in a minute or so if the car is not started in time. However, in all cases, if the interior lights or other electronics, such as the alarm, are not working, the main 12-volt start battery may be dead and you'll need roadside assistance. But it won't hurt to give what follows a try. An attempt to start the vehicle fails, so we'll need a spot to place the key fob so that it can be recognized. There are several variations depending on the model. In the Expedition before 2018 and the Flex, the spot for the key fob is on the rear or side of the console. The key is slipped in vertically or horizontally depending on the slot shape with the buttons facing out as shown. In the updated Expedition, the backup slot is in the front cup holder. There's a two-piece mat at the bottom, and the front piece needs to be pulled away. It's a loose fit and slips out easily. Drop the key fob into the slot with the buttons facing the back of the vehicle. The edge backup slot is inside the center console as well, but actually beneath the front of the console. It's difficult to see, but it can be felt as a raised tray, just the right size for the key fob. 
slip the fob onto the tray with the buttons up. Explorer models, the EcoSport and the all-electric Mach-E use a location in the front of the center console. Drop the fob into the slot with the key ring up and the buttons facing the back. Note also that the Mach-E can be started with a smartphone app and or a passcode inputted on the touchscreen if the key fob or phone is not recognized. Escape models have three options depending on the model year. For 2017, place the key fob on the small tray at the front of the center console. For 2018, the spot is found in the front cup holder. The bottom is marked with radiating lines meant to indicate radio waves. For 2019, the backup slot is back at the front of the center console, but in 2020, a mat is added that must be removed. A fob-shaped depression will be seen. Place the fob on the spot with the buttons up. The new Bronco shares this spot. In all cases, once the key fob is in place, use the start-stop ignition button while stepping on the brake pedal to start your vehicle as usual. And you'll be on your way. Don't forget to get new batteries for your fobs. For help with other push-button or keyless start cars and key fobs from this or other manufacturers, look for more videos from us here on YouTube. Subscribe to this channel or go to dashboardsymbols.com.